67-year-old man is in seemingly good health. He exercises, gets regular physicals. Then, like many Americans, each year is told he has a heart blockage and needs a stent. In the setting of a heart attack or a threatened heart attack, this is unbelievably effective therapy that is life-saving and muscle-saving. In this case, the patient was former President George W. Bush, who in August underwent surgery to unclog a severely blocked artery. About a million stent procedures are performed each year using a catheter and an angioplasty balloon. A coronary artery stent is a small piece of metal that looks like the little spring that you might see out of a ballpoint pen. It's actually collapsed on a balloon that can be inserted into an artery and an interventional cardiologist can then find a blockage, dilate the balloon, which stretches that metal stent out. The balloon is collapsed and the catheter and balloon are removed, leaving behind this metallic scaffold which holds the artery open. Going back a few decades, a stent patient spent up to two weeks in the hospital and took months recovering. But times have changed. Like many patients today, the former president went home the day after his stenting procedure. Nowadays, it can restore flow, prevent a large amount of damage, and a lot of those people, they're back at work very quickly with no residual disability. The key was early detection. Those regular physical exams gave doctors time to diffuse a potentially deadly condition. For uh, Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.